guys, Megan here from Growing Up Herbal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have watched my videos before, then welcome back. I'm so glad to have you joining me. In today's video, I am going to do my fall Mostis unboxing. Um, the last time I did a Mostis box unboxing was for their summer box. And um, so today I wanted to show you exactly how they come in the mail because last time I already had the box out of its package and everything. Um, and I have not seen what's in this box, so I'm not really sure what to expect. But anyway, this is how they come in the mail. Um, just wrapped with some Mostis tape around the box. Um, this is a subscription box. It's a, it's a seasonal subscription box, so you get four a year. You can buy them individually if you want, and I think you can even shop the individual products that are in the box until they run out of stock. So any excess product that they have left over after they have shipped out their subscription boxes, you can go on their website and you can purchase whatever you want, or like, let's say, you really love something you've got in your box and you want more of them, you can go on the website and you can order more. Um, but you can order individual boxes if you want, you can gift the boxes, or you can order like a year subscription so you get one every um, three months. So you get like a spring, summer, fall, and winter box. So this is my last box of the year. This was a gift that Dean got me for Christmas last year. Um, he wanted me to pick a subscription box that I would enjoy, and I looked through a ton of them. And when I came across this one, I thought, that is perfect because we moved into our house. Um, last year at Christmas, we had only been in this new house for three months. Um, we've been here a year so far now at this point, and I really want this um, house to be like, this is our final house. At least that's the plan. It's our final house. I really want to make this house real homey. Um, and so what better way to do that than with curated products that are for your home and for, ha for entertaining and having people over. And I have loved every single thing that I have gotten in all of these boxes. So I am really impressed with this subscription box. Um, I'm about to dump the box out because I can't pull it out. It's, it's in there with the snow. Ugh. Okay. So, it comes like this every month with a pretty little ribbon around it. And then they have the most just in gold lettering on the black box. Really fancy. Um, let me take all this off and let's dive into this box and see what's in there this month. Okay, so again, this is the fall box. Let's open it up. It's quite tight, like it's snug. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what it looks like when you first open it. They always have this little, um, it's like a little mini magazine of different ways that you can use the items in your box in your home in the fall. Um, let's see, spinning into fall, motivation for styling, small grounded homebound gatherings, from France to your table, gourmet pairings, sustainable home products, our obsession with olive wood and s'mores and more. All right, so that's the cover. And then this will probably show me some things that it's in the box. So it looks like there's some sort of little blanket with a little carrying case thing, something with s'mores. They also will show you like items from the other boxes of the year. Like, so there are certain things in here. Um, let's see, I just saw, oh yeah. Like this is a charcuterie board, this black board, and this came in, I think it was the spring box. So like that's from a previous box. There's some marble plates here that came in a previous box. Here are some wooden bowls that came in a previous box. So they kind of just show you how the different boxes, the items can be used throughout all the seasons, as well as how to use the items in this box. Okay, so let's, let's just put that aside and open this up and see what's in here exactly. I'm gonna try to do this where you guys can see it. All right, so this is from Santa Barbara Design Studio and it's a s'mores roasting set. So let's untie all of that. This is interesting. Includes four telescoping roasting sticks. Oh yeah, okay. 
So these are like wooden handles and it's basically like a little um, marshmallow roasting stick for making s'mores. So that's cute. These are nice. We have some that are um, more outdoorsy, but these would be like just nicer looking. They're not, um, they're more for entertaining, I guess. So this is interesting. So this walks you through step by step how to make really good s'mores <laughs> as well. All right, so that's cute. S'mores roasting set. That's perfect for fall because people are going to be like gathering around um, fall little fires. And this must be the blanket that they showed in the little magazine. It's got a little leather carrying handle here. This says it's from <clears throat> Twine Living Company and it's a picnic blanket. Waterproof lining, um, the fake leather carrier for picnic steaks are all included. That's cool. So it like actually, oh yeah, so it's got like these little holes and you actually pin this, pin the blankets to the ground. And then on this side, I don't know that I'm gonna open this up completely. Well, maybe I will. This is super convenient to have the little carrying piece to it and it keeps it all wrapped up and bundled nicely. So it has like this lining on the back side so water won't come through from the ground onto your blanket. It's quite large. Like nice and then this is the stakes. They're like zipped into the lining on the back. So you just take these out and let's see what they look like. Yeah, like that. I want to just stick through the blanket. I guess I just push down and just kind of push and hold the edge of the blanket down to the ground. So that is very nice. I actually have been thinking I need to get a picnic blanket because the boys and I go outside and we'll do school outside sometimes or if we just want to go off and have a little picnic, you know, I'm having to carry like a big blanket that I put on my bed and this is like just so nice to have it all rolled up and in one spot, um, be able to carry it easily. So yeah, I'm gonna set that aside and I'll roll that up later. <laughs> that is a lot to roll up. Okay, so we also have the Epicurean. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, these are like little jams and jellies, red pepper. You can't see this. This is from France. Um, red pepper with raspberry and cayenne peppercorn. These are all twisted around. Let's see if I can open it up without breaking it all to pieces. Hmm. Well, there are three different ones and they're actually backwards. I can't really see what they are. Oh, here we go. This one is fig and walnuts. And then we've got black cherry, red pepper with raspberry and cayenne, fig and walnuts, and black cherry. Nice. Can you see that? So that would be perfect for a little picnic. Those look good. Pair with cheese. So you pair all of them with cheese. It would be really good on crackers, cream cheese, and especially the cayenne one. I love like hot pepper jellies with um, crackers and um, cream cheese, that's really yummy. And then here's something. Let's see what's in this. All wrapped up. Hmm. Oh, here are the little wooden bowls. I have wooden bowls that are similar to these that I'm, I got as a gift working at the Herbal Academy, like a Christmas gift that they sent us one year. And, hmm. So these are similar to that. So they're nesting bowls, little olive wood nesting bowls, naturalolivewood.com. And you have a little coupon code if you wanna buy more. And that's interesting because they really are soaked in olive oil because the box is like covered with oil spots where the oil has come off. But it's a set of four nesting bowls, different sizes. So you can put little snacks in them when you're on your picnic or you can set them out in your house. I have um, my other boxes, or my other wooden bowls 
they're not this olive wood they're like polished and I keep like little river pebbles colored river, river pebbles in them like sitting out in different places and I use them for different things so that's really cute so this whole box is really just about like I guess fall gatherings outdoors um, and has a lot of nice little things that you can use in your fall outdoor gatherings whether you have a fire going or you're having a little picnic or something so yeah these are super cute I can't wait to try them okay so that's it my blanket's falling. <laughs> That's it for this fall Mostest box unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave a link in the description box below to the website for Mostest if you want to check it out. This is not a sponsored post. Um, I did not get these boxes for free. This is just me sharing with you something that I am using in my own life and my home and um, hopefully it's something that you like and maybe you'll sign up for their boxes and give it a try as well and see if you guys like them as well. So if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye and have a great day.